Should I work out while I'm fasting? Hi, I'm Heike Yates, creator of Pursue Your Spark and the four-week Lean Out program, host of the Pursue Your Spark podcast, where I help active women in midlife lead a healthy and fit lifestyle by designing simple and balanced fitness and nutrition programs. So should you work out while fasting? Absolutely. But it also depends on what kind of a fast you're on. If you're, for instance, on a three-day water fast, you have completely different goals with your fasting than with a brunch fast or a fast, which is a brunch, 14 to 15 hours, which is what we're talking about today. If you're a beginner in intermittent fasting, you want to go slow in the beginning. The first week or two will be the toughest for you to adjust and for your body, body to adapt. So here are my tips for exercising when you're just starting out intermittent fasting. First off, the type of exercise. I want you to do cardio, which means cardiovascular fitness. That's anything from walking, running, biking, swimming, elliptical, trampoline, whatever you feel like you that, that you like to do. When it comes to running or biking and also swimming, think about a lower intensity workout and not going gangbusters all out and saying, now I fast, now I'm getting in shape, now I'm going to perhaps lose weight, which you might do with intermittent fasting. And But I want you to think of, okay, I need my body to adapt first to my new eating schedule. Initially, you have fewer calories and your body will adapt but it takes time. And so your exercise has to do the same thing for you. It has to adapt to where you are right now. So go slow when it comes to exercise intensity. How long do you exercise? Same rule of thumb here. You want to make sure that you start about 15 minutes of, let's use walking as an example, that you walk 15 minutes at a good clip or a, a clip where you feel comfortable. If you're a runner, you run at a comfortable pace. So you're not going out of breath. If I'm standing next to you, you could have a conversation with me saying, hey, how's it going? Without too much huffing and puffing. And I want to make sure that you do this every other day. So every other day, you are doing your cardiovascular fitness, 15 minutes to 30 minutes. You can always go longer as you get more experience in intermittent fasting. Then when it comes to strength training, which is a, another huge aspect of intermittent fasting, at least in my point of view, as you're getting fitter and as you're burning your fat to fuel your energy. Strength training, anything from weights, bands, Pilates. Uh, swimming is also good, but swimming is more of a cardiovascular fitness. So you think about how can you strength train with all these tools and build those lean muscles that are fueled by the burning the fat in your body. You go in light resistance, higher repetitions for more endurance. You take an easy Pilates class that aligns the whole body and tones the whole body. And again, here you want to think lower intensity rather than higher intensity. Give your body time to adapt to the new environment, but it can be done. I experienced it in my own body in my 60-day experiment with intermittent fasting now, two years ago, and I still do it. But my body has adapted, so now my training schedule has changed a little bit. So give yourself time. See how your body responds. How often do you exercise? Ideally, five days a week with one day rest. Now think about this. This is so doable. If you do 15 minutes of cardio, you do a half an hour of strength training, and you're done. It's awesome. It doesn't take too much time. It helps you with lean out goals, with getting in shape goals, with losing body fat goals. And also because you're fasting now, you're giving your gut a rest. And your gut is so happy. Mine was so happy with not having to digest any more food. So if you like what I'm sharing today, so comment on this video below. But before I go, check out my YouTube series, the three minutes exercise series. I've created a few different parts of a series. One is with Pilates, one is with a magic circle, one is without the uh, without anything, own body weight exercises. And 
The videos are short. They're only three minutes long and they can help you get started to exercising while fasting. They're not super intense, but they're thoughtful and so doable. So you could do one video after the other from whatever you choose, or you keep repeating one video three times and you're almost at the 15 minutes. So it's super easy to get started. So make sure you subscribe and you give the like to this video and I'll see you in the next video.